our opinion here onto a new exploration uh, RV. A little bit of little fun facts about Arby's. Uh, Nosey Nelson driving by. Hold on. I'll leave some information at the bottom if you scroll down. And they're the second largest sandwich chain uh, on the planet, at least coming by way of the United States. There's currently over 3,400 locations in eight countries, including other than the US, Canada, Turkey, Kuwait, Egypt, South Korea. Uh, they're first founded in 1964 in Ohio by the Raffel Brothers, which is what Arby's actually stands for, RB. Uh, they first franchised a year later in 65. They tried to go public in 70. They were bought by the RC company, RC Cola, in 1976. They're currently owned by Inspire Brands, equity group, private equity group that also owns Buffalo Wild Wings, Sonic, uh, Duncan, Baskin Robbins, the name of the group. We're going on to now, I've seen Arby's all my life, including in Long Beach, California, as well here in San Jose, but I've actually never, I recall going in there and getting a beverage before. I've never really ventured, this is a giant chain that I've never really ventured around with, uh, but we shall start. We're gonna go with the No Frills uh, Classic Roast Beef Sandwich. Silver and red, here we go. You have like a, you know, if they refer to it as a sesame seed. Uh, buns, roast beef, that's all she wrote. Meat. They really like marketing meat. Uh, shall we try? Simple as it gets. Um, that's a roast beef sandwich, that's what it is. They're delivering, it's a roast beef. Tad dry, we shall see. Larvae sauce, there we go. Slight tang there. Beggars can't be choosers, here we go. I'm in Sunnyvale, California. The last remaining Arby's in there. At least around the South Bay area, even though they're the second biggest chain. It's a different genre as opposed to like whatever I've used so far, Subway, Quiznos, Togos, and that. Those are submarine sandwiched uh, mega chains. This is a, you know, a roast beef. Here we go. A circular uh, sandwich chain. Being honest, you deliver. I mean, you definitely get roast beef. You definitely get buns. You definitely get sesame seeds. Tad dry, throw in the Arby sauce, juice it up a little bit. It's good, I'm not having a baby over it, I'm not having labor pains over it. I'm not saying I love it, but it's a good solid sandwich. Five bucks, a little, maybe a buck, two over the line, but. It's a basic utility roast beef sandwich. You're in a pinch, you're there. Yeah, it'll something hold you over for five bucks. They're also famous for their curly fries. Look how curly. Here, Arby's has been known for curly fries a long, long time. Mm. Good, good. These are really, I like. Double or nothing, I'm going to the other known item now. From what I've heard, this is still roast beef, but it's so much different. I'm gonna give it a separate review. It's their classic beef and cheddar, again, silver and black packaging. yippee ki yay are we in cattle country? Here we go, Arby's. Apparently they don't use a sesame seed bun for the beef and cheddar. They use like an onion, uh, onion roll bun. There's a lot of cheese here. Abundant amount of cheese with the roast beef. And I've heard there's some other kind of sauce here on the bottom they have. 
abundant, messy affair. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. There's more going on here than their regular classic beef. That's for sure. The other one was three out of four. This is at least a 3.5. This is bringing home all the aggression. Beggars can't be choosers, who said? That's good. Now that is good. Not bad, RB Brothers, not bad at all. RB damned. I'm gonna give these better than the Jagamox ones. I'm gonna give them. A 3.5 possibly there. It tastes just like the Jagged Box. But they may have the advantage that I think they might be less greasy. As greasy as they are. Chivalrous continues. These may be fours, I don't know. I'm making 3.5 right now, but you're really good. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I know I like them. No, they're good. And they're really good for what they are. Well, first known meal from the cattle ranch Arby's. I'm sitting next to a bank. Very good. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's a long week. I'm digesting two roast beef sandwiches, one with cheddar cheese and God knows what sauce. It's a gargantuan task. Well, I am not, I ain't claiming it. I ain't climbing any meat mountains right now, that's for sure. Well, if I get in my food Recover from my food coma, I shall return to my abode and I will return the Avenger of Outside Reviews. <sighs> Fear eating Arby's is the closest I've ever come to feeling the, the parameters of motherhood, perhaps. Here we go.